Beware of Delaware. Good things come in small packages. Little creatures can create great things. And complex instructions are stored on a single microchip. We all know the high price a fine diamond can bring. But one bad apple can spoil the whole bunch. A micro dot of cancer can spread great harm. And the venom from a tiny brown spider can cause you to lose your whole arm. Yes, size can be very deceptive. Kind citizens, take heed and beware. There is a dangerous giant hiding in the wee state of Delaware. For size, she ranks only 49th in the nation. This fact is widely known, but few realize that over a million corporations call Delaware their home. Her corporate population is the highest in the land. There are actually more businesses than people in this commercial Neverland. She has storefronts set up to welcome 24 hours a day. You can buy an address on Easy Street without ever having to stay. Delaware is America's first state. She's nicknamed Diamond or Small Wonder. And she's got a reputation for prowess at acquiring legal plunder. When you register your corporation in Delaware, she'll grant magical legal powers. She'll accommodate your every need. It only takes an hour. Delaware is palpably business friendly. Why pay a higher state tax when Delaware bends over backwards, spreads her legs, and helps you relax? Now there's a building at 1209 North Orange. It's just a single story location, but it is the mailing address for over 200,000 businesses and another 6,500 corporations. It's the mailing address for Google, Coca-Cola, General Motors, KFC, Morgan Stanley, American Airlines, yeah. Verizon, and even the Statue of Liberty. Delaware is home to two-thirds of the Fortune 500, half of all companies with publicly traded stocks. So what makes Delaware so attractive? What does she have that oh, we ain't got? Her appeal is really quite primal. Corporate romance is practically free. She lures them in with tax breaks, but she courts them with chancery. The court of chancery, you ask. Pray tell what that means. Well, that is Delaware's legal system, and she is the chancery queen. Her legal code is what's really enticing. It's known as Title Eight. The laws are written to support the shareholders, while the general welfare carries no weight. The golden rule, to maximize profit. The means are all justified by the end. The laws are biased against regulations, and they're flexible enough to bend. Corporate expenses are tax deductible. Directors are not held personally accountable. As long as they're serving their shareholders, no crime is insurmountable. The legal code does not mention workers. The workers' rights have no voice. There is no protection for our environment. And the communities are given no choice. There's also no limit to executive pay. And that is why some CEOs' earnings are 550 times higher than the employees who are left with nothing when they retire. Yeah. Delaware sets the legal precedent that raises profits for the wealthy few. She does not serve we the people. The one Delaware really screws is you. If you're concerned about income disparity and you wonder how things got so unfair, don't look to Delaware for sympathy. 
because that bitch doesn't care. <laughs> America's corporations, the revenues are higher than all of the world's governments combined. Can't you see that Delaware's jurisdiction is absurdly out of line? Are you happy with your job? Are you burdened with student loans? Do you know someone personally who's been foreclosed out of their homes? Are you tired of non-viable wages? Can you afford your family's, your family's health care? Are you concerned with the number of corporations that are governed by Madam Delaware? Let's occupy her courtroom and end this legal prostitution. Citizens, I challenge you, let's amend our Constitution. We can govern corporations federally and set their tax liabilities to be more equal. And for God's sakes, let's get rid of that supreme fallacy that thinks corporations are actually people.